Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2024 Marine Corps Rifle and Pistol Championship Awards Ceremony. Please rise as we render honors to Brigadier General Farrell J. Sullivan, followed by the National Anthem. Sergeant Major, Company, you know, Battalion Squadron aren't able to come here, definitely please tell them thank you for me. I know we pay for this, uh, but but we can't make up for really between your regional mic mic and your time here at Marine Corps Championships, we can't make up what you do in your unit uh, for the two weeks you're gone. I see some ITB instructors, uh, etc. So it's, it's a big deal for you to be here, and uh, uh, please tell your, your leadership that I personally I'm thankful to the family members. We have some of you here. Uh, thank you. What I've learned at this battalion is uh, competitive marksmanship is an addiction, and you probably know better than I do because that impacts the, uh, the pocketbook uh, if they're shooting on their own out in town, but it also impacts uh, time away from home. And as Marines, we do quite a lot of that. Um, for Distinguished, uh, distinguished uh, Marksman Shooters Association, thanks for being here and continuing to support. We appreciate, uh, our, again, our veteran service organizations paying attention to what we do and continue to support the program. It means a lot to us. Um, I'd like to thank the, the shooting team. Um, they uh, they go to every MCMIC, put on every regional MCMIC, and they, they really, in my mind, went above and beyond what I asked them to do. As, we, as we're thinking through uh, what what is the best shooting discipline and the type of shooting that we asked you guys to do to, to accomplish the mission of the combat, uh, combat and arms program, uh, which is to increase the lethality of the total force. I think they did a really great job of that, so let's give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> I was taking the confirmation brief uh, and all, all, the, all the things they threw at you, it, it, uh, it, uh, it, warmed, it warmed me and I, I smiled because Marine NCOs and staff NCOs certainly are devious. And uh, they're devious uh, setting up hard competitions for you. And if you're Russian or Chinese, you should uh, you should be really concerned because uh, we have the best NCOs and staff NCOs around. And then to the competitors again, thank 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 you guys. Right, I, it's not easy to go ask your boss uh, to to leave again. Um, and again, you are important from where you come from, where you come from. So thanks for for being dedicated to the program. Again, like like I said, I believe that we we did accomplish the mission of the competition and arms program this last week. 
And uh, well, in the competition, there is a first person. That means there's a the last person. But realize, you guys, you doesn't matter. I don't care what you placed. I know you guys care what you placed. I don't because you're here and, and you tried. And every once in a while, I try. I shot Mick Mick East, and uh, my performance wasn't too high. Um, but you tried, and, and you take this profession of arms seriously. And uh, and I'm proud of you for that. Um, so. Just, I'll, I'll be brief, but we want to turn it over to General Sullivan and really get the awards to the, to the folks that did the hard work. But I get asked a lot in this job as we look at modernizing marksmanship, you know, what is, what are we doing in the Marine Corps? Is every Marine a rifleman still important? I just want to talk about that a little bit. It's um, sort of, it's, just, it's what I like to talk about a lot. But uh, General Smith just published uh, Frago 1, 1 TAC 2024, and he said, I quote, we will remain our nation's expeditionary shock troops that can deliver combat power from sea to land and now from land to sea. So when I think about shock troops, um, I think about you guys shooting close bay at night. Um, if, if you don't, I know I'm not going to say who the award winners are, but the top three, we've got a bulk fueler, a Comstrat Marine, and an infantry Marine. Again, um, when we talk about shock troops and, and, and increasing the lethality of the total force, that, that tells you something. And I, I mean, that was just ama amazing to watch you guys this week. At, um, and so you're definitely shock troops. Expeditionary, I think we, those of us in uniform, we know what that means. It means living out of a, 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 our house that we're carrying on our, on our back and eating, eating chow out of a plastic bag. It's not too fun. But as you think through um, where we're going with, with um, EABO distributed operations, if you're at a FARC, Ford uh, Army Refueling Point, uh, or you're at a fire CAB to, to shoot a naval strike missile and sink a Chinese ship, you're not going to get, those are those jobs are done by non-infantry Marines, you're not going to get a battalion of infantry Marines to come protect you, right? Because we need to minimize our physical signature because we're fighting bad guys that have a lot of the same capability we do. They have drones, they have sensors, they have satellites, and they're going to be able to find a bunch of people on the ground, right? Doing what we do, digging fight holes, uh, improving positions, etc. And, and you, I don't think in this fight that you're going to get an infantry battalion or even an infantry company or maybe a, even an infantry platoon to secure that EAB. So your ability, regardless of MOS, to remain every Marine rifleman is hugely important. And again, you all definitely did that. I want to talk a little bit just for the audience uh, so they know a little uh, about what the teams threw at, at, at you guys this week. And again, I was, I was really impressed with uh, the right idea. So we always think through, like, obviously the purpose of championships is to focus on marksmanship. Uh, General Sullivan runs a fitness instructor competition. We do do a marksmanship stage there, but the purpose of that is, is more physical fitness and even the marksmanship stage. We really want to see see how you can shoot under duress, but, but we're really pushing you to get a good, a good run time. Here we want to focus on marksmanship, but um, and, but, and we threw a lot of stuff at you. You threw, shot it at night uh, with lasers, talked about a little bit already close space, a more CQB type shooting. Out at distance, we shot a lot of robots. We flipped tires. We did casualty drags. Uh, we low crawled and threw grenades. Again, that was a great stage after, uh, named after Sergeant Cole from World War II, who was a French horn player. Uh, didn't like that MOS, so he wanted to be a machine gunner and got a medal of honor posthumously. And you guys, uh, I think, honored him well in your competition. Um, and we even did some mechanical breaching, and I think for probably for some of y'all, that's the first time you ever knocked open a door, kicked open a door, and then went flowed through it and, and took down some targets. But why did we do, why did we do that? All right? Well, we did that because uh, Gunny Highway is a fictional character, and uh, Heartbreak Ridge is a movie, and I cannot actually shoot back at you. And so in a competition where we do want to focus in on your marksmanship skills, we also, we want to put you in a dilemma, right? Because I can't shoot back at you, but one of these, hopefully you're never shot at in harm's way, but if you are, I want you to be comfortable in your ability, right? Flip a couple of tires, get your heart rate up, and able to put two targets at nice center mass or, or in the chest or in the forehead. And that, again, you guys did a great job doing that. Um, so again, just in closing, super great competition, uh, really proud of the teams for putting it on and really proud of the competitors for showing up and just giving it your all. By uh, Sunday when I showed up to PT and I, I noticed we weren't, we, were, we weren't doing anything about 9.30, I'm like, yep, yeah, we were tired, we were tired. Uh, but again, the teams didn't cut it. Uh, I, I didn't think Captain Mods would cut off some stages. I knew we, we would just roll start X. And I don't think you got finished yesterday till about 17.30, something like that. And then the teams were there, I know, late. Uh, so again, that's what we do in the Marine Corps. We excel under duress, and, and, and we, we are 
as perfect as we can be in the hardest of situations. And again, you all, you all proved that. I think just to be able to come here and complete the course of fire, you're, you're a winner in my book. So congratulations to all the competitors, and obviously we'll get some uh, specific comments. Uh, congratulations to each award winner. But thanks. Sir, over to you. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Let me just uh, get a thumbs up in the back if you can hear me. Okay, good. Um, so, Greg, uh, see you in short, Major John, uh, Mass Rock Capco. Thanks. Uh, you don't have to thank me for being here. Last year I wasn't here because I was traveling. And uh, for those that don't know, uh, Weapons Training Battalion is one of uh, 1706 commands and training commands that are spread across the country. So, um, but I made it a, a purpose to be here this year. And so uh, I'm thanking you for inviting me again. Um, before I get into my uh, brief remarks, I just want to say congratulations to all of you that came here to compete. Um, there's other things you could have been doing right now other than uh, spending the last week or so here. We all have important things going on. Um, but for reasons that I will express to you personally, uh, I thank you for being here because it's important to be here. Uh, and for those who are be about to be awarded, uh, even more uh, appreciation, gratitude, and thanks to you uh, for taking a keen interest in applying your trade, whether it be as a, rifle marine, a rifleman or as an empty marine. And then for those that are going to go on to the inner service um, competitions, my uh, guidance to you is give them help. Right? Uh, when Marines are on the battlefield or on the range with a rifle, people expect something out of you. Uh, and they expect you to, uh, to show the other services what we can do as Marines. Um, let me ask a question to, uh, to all who are here, but the competitors in particular. My question is, uh, why are you here? As a competitor, my question to you is, why, why are you here? It's a rhetorical question. I don't expect you to actually answer it out loud. Uh, but it's, it's at the core of uh, what's important to me here, and Colonel Jones uh, talked about it a little bit. Right, you may answer that question by saying, I need some ballistic therapy. Uh, I need to get away from what I do normally. Um, this is a good way for me to, uh, to relieve stress. And that's, that's a fine answer. You know, I'm not saying that that's not a good answer. You may answer it by saying it's fun. Right? Whether you've been doing it because you grew up uh, in the country somewhere or you're newer to it. Uh, you know, you, you started as a kid uh, because your, your parents or some mentor introduced you to it. Or it's something that you've uh, come to love later on in life. Uh, the fact that it's fun is, is also not a bad reason for being here. Uh, it may be a, pa a personal passion of yours because this is a skill set that you can continue to refine over your lifetime. At a certain point, you're going to get to my age, and uh, no matter how hard you try, you'll probably die off a little bit. If you were wondering if I was, I just forgot to put my badges on, I didn't forget. Right? I don't have any shooting badges like most of you do. Um, I'm just a, a simple entry bar. But if it's a personal passion for you because you want to be faster, more accurate, uh, and you can measure that and get better and better, then that's a good answer, too. Um, you may like competition. And uh, being here to compete with the best um, is a good reason, too. It, it puts you under stress and adversity. And only under stress and adversity do we grow. Right? Some people like to avoid that, but uh, that's the only way we really can make mistakes, learn from those mistakes, and grow. Uh, it may be because um, you want to be individually better as a Marine. Uh, you want to be more ready for the fight that uh, Colonel Jones was, was talking about. Right? There was a Marine, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Rabel, who was a Harrier Squadron commander. Some of you probably remember this. In 2012, he died uh, fighting off a, a Taliban penetration of Bastion Airfield, right, which was a subsection of the Lebanon. Right, there was no grunts there to be had. Right, he grabbed his rifle, uh, got the other Marines who were maintainers on aircraft, some pilots in the ready room, and they counterattacked. And in that counterattack, he died. Right, but they quickly closed that penetration and, um, and got on to business. Right? So individual improvement is a good thing, but at the end of the day, and I think you know where I'm going with this, uh, this is really important because of unit readiness. Because those of us that have been in the Marine Corps for 30 years or something approaching that, uh, we have fought in, in multiple wars, We've been on multiple combat deployments. Uh, but if you were to average the amount of time 
between conflict from World War I to today, it's roughly between five or ten years that we're in some kind of major dust-up that requires you to deploy Marines into a combat zone. If you're going to stay in for five years, you're going to stay in for 15 or 20 or longer, right? that will be you again someday. Right? And you may be heading for the exit and getting out of the Marine Corps, which is perfectly fine. But you will leave Marines behind who will go into combat. Right? So this is only important. Everything that happens here at Weapons Training Battalion is only important because it prepares Marines to go into combat again, individually and as a unit. Right? And I don't, please don't read into that. I applaud you for the individual accomplishments. That's important to recognize that, to recognize that expertise. But lethality in our use of small arms, that will never go away. No matter what you think about Force Design 2030 and what it says we can now do, we can attack from shore to sea with long range weapon systems, high explosive uh, weapon systems, those are important. But at the end of the day, we will have to put Marines on foreign soil at some point in the future to achieve our nation's goal, whatever that may be. Uh, and they will have to employ their small armed individual weapons and do that collectively to be successful. Now, um, I don't know if you know this, and I'm sure it was time, um, it wasn't accidental, but if you were to go to uh, a Marine Corps Association publication called um, the Leatherneck Magazine, last month they published an article about Brigadier General Wachheimer. Who I knew nothing about uh, until I took this job last year and was made aware of the different uh, awards that you're presented here. But that that award right there, uh, if you were to go back into a picture of him in 1920, right, that that award that's now encased in wood, it's the same exact trophy that was handed out back then. And back then, he was a major, and he was a lawyer. He just graduated law school as a marine and they put him in charge of uh, being the inspector of target practice. That was his job. That was his official title. I think we got that wrong in terms of what the official title was, but his responsibilities were to develop uh, and construct live fire ranges, to institute a competitive marksmanship program in the Marine Corps, and to oversee the execution of the Marine Corps shooting team in international and national competitions. It sounds a lot like the CEO of Weapons Training Battalion, uh, although you have more responsibilities today. But I can guarantee you, when he, when he took over that job, none of this existed. Right? So if you're wondering what one person can do, and he probably had no idea where this would go, and that you'd have a room of people like this sitting together who have followed his footsteps. Right? But if you're wondering what one person can do, um, and what that legacy could look like, going back to your all's responsibility uh, in terms of taking what you've learned here back and giving back to your organizations back in the Fleet Marine Force. Or if you're getting our, out, like I saw Sergeant Cardenas over there, uh, he knows why I'm not wearing these, uh, anything here because he uh, put me through AMTP, at least a portion of it. Um, but I know you're getting out, but you have paid the service already. Right? So uh, you've either already done it or you need to do it. Just like Brigadier General Lochheimer did uh, someone's going to receive that trophy here in a minute. Now, in closing, um, Weapons Training Battalion, uh, thank you for what you do here for this and uh, for what you do for the Marine Corps. Um, I did not understand, uh, for John and Mass Art Capco, uh, the value of the Marine Corps shooting team. I, I've never shot on it before. When I was a platoon commander, company commander, battalion commander, whatever, I, I knew there were matches going on and Marines went off to the matches, but uh, we were involved in a workup or, or whatever it was. and. And I probably should have paid more attention back in the day. Uh, but after spending two years almost in this job, I have no doubt that we absolutely positively need a Marine Corps shooting team. All right, so all you all, all what you did to set this up, all the regional matches that you ran to get us here today, uh, I very much appreciate it for both you, you two, and your rifle and pistol teams. I know a lot of work went into that. And um, I don't think people understand the grassroots impact that has on the Marine Corps. And I, I certainly have a much better understanding of that now. But also, if you have any of your MPMS uh, team here, really the engine room that drives innovation, uh, like protecting the things that we know are good and then innovating in the ways we know we must, uh, as well as uh, the schoolhouse, formerly known as the Sky Sniper uh, Schoolhouse, that has transitioned to focus on precision marking. 
what you do too is uh, tremendously important. Precision weapons uh, attachment that you have. Uh, everything that you guys do is important, and, um, and I and I greatly appreciate it. And with that, um, I'll humbly conclude my remarks. And again, thank you for having me here, Greg. You're welcome. From its inception, the Competition in Arms program has enhanced the marksmanship proficiency and lethality of the Marine Corps by providing a base of highly skilled marksmanship instructors, scout snipers, coaches, and range personnel. It also stimulates the individual Marine's confidence and desire to excel with service weapons while facilitating the development and exchange of ideas to improve equipment and shooting techniques. In accordance with the Competition in Arms program, the Marine Corps Championship is the culminating event for the top competitors from the five Marine Corps Marksmanship competitions. National Capital Region, held in Quantico, Virginia. Far East, held in Okinawa, Japan. Pacific, held in Hawaii. West, held at Camp Pendleton, California. And Far East, held at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Competitors placing in the top 10% at each of the marksmanship competitions earn the privilege of competing at the Marine Corps Championship. At this time, we will present the individual rifle awards. Those Marines, Marine competitors previously awarded a distinguished badge and who place in the awards bracket will receive a previously distinguished certificate. It is a tradition at the Marine Corps Championship that the competitor who finishes one place out of the medal bracket receive an award referred to as first leather. By recognizing this Marine's accomplishment, he or she is encouraged to remain active in competitive shooting and to further develop their shooting abilities. Please hold your applause until all of the award winners have been recognized. <clears throat> Placing 12th, receiving the first leather award is Staff Sergeant Stephen Corson of the Marine Corps shooting team. Placing 11th, receiving third bronze, is Staff Sergeant Kanika Beck of the East Team. <clears throat> Placing 10th, receiving a previously distinguished certificate, is Sergeant John Treat II of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Placing ninth, receiving a distinguished marksman badge in lieu of second bronze is Sergeant Greg Robinson of the East Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest distinguished marksman. Placing eighth, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Staff Sergeant Robert Germanello from the West Team. <laughs> Placing seventh, receiving a distinguished marksman badge in lieu of first bronze is Gunnery Sergeant Michael Martinez of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest distinguished marksman. <laughs> Placing sixth, receiving a distinguished marksman badge in lieu of second silver is Sergeant Adam Haswell of the Marine Corps shooting team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest distinguished marksman. <laughs> Placing fifth, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Sergeant Joshua Cardenas of Weapons Training Battalion Quantico.
Placing fourth, receiving a certificate due to being awarded a higher medal in another Marine Corps championship match is Sergeant Mitchell McSherry of the East Team. Placing third, receiving first silver, is Captain Philip Williams of Weapons Training Battalion, Quantico. Placing second, receiving a previously distinguished certificate, is Staff Sergeant Peyton Garcia of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. And the 2024 Marine Corps Rifle Match Champion, receiving the McDougal Trophy and Distinguished Marksman Badge in lieu of first gold, is Staff Sergeant Christian Cachola of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest Distinguished Marksman and 2024 Rifle Match Champion. We will now recognize the individual award winners for pistol. Please hold your applause until all the award winners have been recognized. <clears throat> Placing 18th, receiving first leather is Major Parker Tomasi of the East Team. Placing 17th, receiving a Distinguished Pistol Shot Badge in lieu of 3rd Bronze is Staff Sergeant Paul Wilkerson of the West Team. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest Distinguished Pistol Shot. Placing 16th, receiving a Distinguished Pistol Shot Badge in lieu of 2nd Bronze is Staff Sergeant Kanika Beck of the East Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest Distinguished Pistol Shot. Placing 15th, receiving a certificate due to being awarded a higher medal in another Marine Corps championship match is Sergeant Sean Muller of the Marine Corps shooting team. Placing 14th, receiving a distinguished pistol shot badge in lieu of first bronze is Sergeant Mason Shaw of the West team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest distinguished pistol shot. <laughs> Placing 13th, receiving second silver is Sergeant Paul Lou Gorman of the National Capital Region Team. Placing 12th, receiving a certificate due to being awarded a higher medal in another Marine Corps championship match <coughs> is Sergeant Jacob Zupke of the Marine Corps shooting team. Placing 11th, receiving second silver is Sergeant Dylan Kelly of the East team. Receiving 10th, placing 10th, receiving first goal is Captain Sean Chang of the West Team. <laughs> 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 
Placing ninth, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Major Frank Gow of the National Capital Region Team. Placing eighth, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Sergeant Adam Haswell of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Placing seventh, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Staff Sergeant Kevin Graham of the Marine Corps Reserve Shooting Team. Placing sixth, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Sergeant Mitchell McSherry of the East Team. Placing fifth, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Staff Sergeant Stephen Corson of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Placing fourth, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Sergeant John Treat II of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Placing third, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Staff Sergeant Peyton Garcia of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Placing second, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Corporal Tanner Wright of the East Team. And the 2024 Marine Corps Pistol Match Champion receiving the Walsh Trophy Badge and a previously distinguished certificate is Sergeant Joshua Cardenas of Weapons Training Battalion Quantico. Ladies and gentlemen, the 20 the award winners for the multi-gun match. Please hold your applause until all the award winners have been recognized. Placing 11th, receiving first leather, is Sergeant Paul Lugorman of the National Capital Region Team. Placing 10th, receiving third bronze, is Sergeant Original Hancock of the East Team. Placing 9th, receiving a distinguished pistol shot badge in lieu of second bronze, is Major Parker Tomasi of the East Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest distinguished pistol shot. <laughs> Placing eighth, receiving a certificate due to being awarded a higher medal in another Marine Corps championship match is Sergeant Adam Haswell of the Marine Corps shooting team. Placing seventh, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Staff Sergeant Stephen Corson of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Placing sixth, receiving first bronze is Corporal Tanner Wright of the Far East Team. Placing fifth, receiving a distinguished marksman badge in lieu of second silver is Sergeant Mitchell McSherry of the East Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest distinguished marksman. <laughs> Placing fourth, receiving first silver is Sergeant Jacob Zuffke of the Marine Corps Shooting Team.
Placing third, receiving a distinguished pistol shot badge in lieu of first gold is Sergeant Sean Muller of the Marine Corps shooting team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Corps' newest distinguished pistol shot. Placing second, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Sergeant Joshua Cardenas of Weapons Training Battalion, Quantico. And the 2024 Marine Corps Multi-Gun Match Champion, receiving a previously distinguished certificate is Staff Sergeant Peyton Garcia of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Marine Corps Multi-Gun Match Champion. <laughs> the Major General Hammer Hartsville Trophy is awarded to the highest first year competitor in the competition in arms program referred to as the High Tyro. In 2022, this trophy was donated by the Marine Corps Distinguished Shooting Association and retired Major General Hartzell. Major General Hartzell joined the Marine Corps in 1981 as an enlisted Marine before earning his commission in 1983. During his career, he earned a Distinguished Pistol Shot Badge and was a member of the 1992 Eastern Division team who won the Interdivision Pistol Team Trophy. The Hartzell Trophy is being presented by retired Gunnery Sergeant Nelson Ocasio of the Distinguished Shooter Association. The High Tyro for the 2024 Marine Corps Championship and winner of the Major General Hamilton. The Lockheimer Trophy was presented to the United States Marine Corps in 1921 by the family of the late adjutant and inspector of the Marine Corps, Brigadier General Charles H. Lockheimer. In 1901, then a major, a major, General Lockheimer established competitive marksmanship in the Marine Corps. He also captained the first Marine team to enter rifle competitions. The large bronze trophy has, since its inception, been awarded to the competitor attaining the highest aggregate score of the individual rifle and individual pistol match. The winner of these shooting disciplines receives a gold medal miniature of the trophy, while the second and third place receives silver and bronze medals, respectively. Placing third, receiving a bronze Lockheimer badge, is Sergeant Mitchell McSherry of the East Team. Placing second, receiving a silver Lockheimer badge, is Sergeant Joshua Cardenas of Weapons Training Battalion, Quantico. And the 2024 Marine Corps Championship <laughs> Lockheimer winner and receiving a gold Lockheimer badge is Staff Sergeant Peyton Garcia of the Marine Corps Shooting Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the overall winner of the 2024 Marine Corps Championship match.
The final portion of the competition consists of the team matches, where each region put their best competitors against other teams in order to win the interdivision rifle team match, interdivision pistol team match, and the Fleet Marine Forces Combat Infantry Trophy match. All these competitions share not only a rich history and comp competitive marksmanship, but hold a very important significance to all who participate. The Interdivision Rifle Team Trophy is awarded to the team with the highest aggregate rifle score from the rifle team match. The trophy is dedicated to the memory of those Marines instrumental in the furtherance of rifle matches who gave their lives in World War II. The winner of the 2024 Interdivision Rifle Team Trophy is the East Team. The team captain is Sergeant Toby Schindler. The team coach is Sergeant Kyle Turpak. The firing members are Sergeant Mitchell McSherry, Sergeant Greg Robinson, Corporal Michael Mayo, Staff Sergeant Kanika Beck, Staff Sergeant Christopher Simpler, and Staff Sergeant Garrett Schroll. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Interdivision Rifle Team Match Champions. Interdivision Pistol Team Trophy is awarded to the team with the highest aggregate pistol scores from the Pistol Team match. Interdivision Pistol Team Trophy is the East Team. The team captain is Staff Sergeant Garrett Schroll. The team coach is Staff Sergeant Kanika Beck. And the firing members are Sergeant Mitchell McSherry, Sergeant Dylan Kelly, Gunner Sergeant Joshua Haskell, and Sergeant Greg Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Interdivision Pistol Team Match Champions.
Peace. The Fleet Marine Force Combat Infantry Team Trophy is awarded to the rifle team with the highest aggregate score during the Infantry Trophy Team Match. The winner of the 2024 Infantry Trophy Team Match is the Far East Team. The team captain is Corporal Kevin Keane. The team coach is Sergeant Victor Vargas. The firing members are Staff Sergeant Alexis Santiago, Staff Sergeant Tyler Trundle, Sergeant Sam Dumont, Corporal York Bailey, Corporal Tanner Wright, and Corporal Elijah Robbins. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Fleet Marine Force Combat Infantry Trophy Team Champions. taking the knowledge and skills you have learned here back to your parent commands and share them with your fellow Marines and sailors. We would like to ask all awardees to please remain for pictures after the conclusion of the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away and the Marines Hymn, followed by the departure of the official party.
our ceremony, and we thank you for your attendance.